An overview study on single channel I squared C to one wire master DS2482 Maxim. Welcome to this training module on an overview study on the single channel I squared C to one wire master, the DS2482. This training module introduces the DS2482 and its key features. The DS2482-100 is an I squared C to one wire bridge device that interfaces directly to standard or fast I squared C masters to perform bidirectional protocol conversion between the I squared C master and any downstream one wire slave device. To optimize one wire waveform generation, the DS2482-100 performs slew rate control on rising and falling one wire edges and provides additional programmable features to match drive characteristics to the one wire slave environment. Programmable strong pull up features support one wire power delivery to one wire devices such as double EEPROMs and sensors. The DS2482-100 combines these features with an output to control an external MOSFET for enhanced strong pull up applications. The I squared C slave address assignment is controlled by two binary address inputs, resolving potential conflicts with other I squared C slave devices in the system. Here are some of the focus applications for this device. Here's the block diagram of the device. It has I squared C interface controller. The input for this block comes from the I squared C bus SDA and SCL lines. The DS2482-100 has three registers that the I squared C host can read configuration, status, and read data. These registers are addressed by a read pointer. The position of the read pointer, that is, the register that the host reads in subsequent read addresses, is defined by the instruction the DS2482-100 executed last. To enable certain one-wire features, the host has read and write access to the configuration register. The following legend of the DS2482 datasheet represents a shorthand notation to describe the I squared C communication sequences with the device. The host of the DS2482 must have an I squared C communications port. Configuration of the host is not covered by this document. The host must, however, provide standard interface I squared C operations. Note that some of these I squared C operations may be bundled into higher level functions by host interfaces. This slide shows three basic primitives, OW reset, OW write bit, OW read bit, and OW write byte, OW read byte, along with three other useful functions, OW block, OW search, MS delay, that together make up a core set of basic one wire operations. There are a few basic one wire functions called primitives which an application must have to perform any one-wire communication session. The first function, OW reset, resets all the one-wire slaves on the network, readying them for a command from the one-wire master. The second function, OW write bit, writes a bit from the one-wire master to the slaves. And the third function, OW read bit, reads a, one, reads a bit from the one-wire slaves. Since one-wire masters must start all one-wire bit communications, a read is technically a write of a single bit with the result sampled. Almost all other one-wire operations can be constructed from these three operations. The DS2482-100 understands eight function commands that fall into four categories. 
1. Device Control 2. I2C Communication 3. One Wire Setup and 4. One Wire Communications The feedback path to the host is controlled by a read pointer which is set automatically by each function command for the host to efficiently access relevant information. The host processor sends these commands and applicable parameters as strings of one or two bytes using the I2C interface. The DS2482-100 supports four one-wire features that are enabled or selected through the configuration register. 1. Active Pull-Up, or APU. 2. Presence Pulse Masking, or PPM. 3. Strong Pull-Up, or SPU. And 4. One Wire Speed, or 1WS. After a device reset, the configuration register reads 00 hex. When writing to the configuration register, the new data is accepted only if the upper nibble is the one's complement of the lower nibble. When red, the upper nibble is always zero. The PPM bit controls whether the DS2482-100 masks the leading edge of presence pulses. Presence pulse masking applies only to standard one-wire speed. Presence pulse masking can improve the performance of large one-wire networks because it prevents the fast-falling edge of a presence pulse generated by a one-wire slave device. This slide shows the timing references for the presence pulse masking. If enabled, which is PPM equal 1, the DS2482-100 begins pulling the one-wire line low at T PPM1 after a reset load time, T, RSTL, is expired. The pull-down ends at T, PPM2, at which a one-wire slave, if present, is pulling the one-wire line low. The falling edge of the presence pulse mask is slew rate controlled. Here is a typical application circuit of this device. The resistors for SDA and SCL pull-up and pull-up resistor RP must be evaluated as shown.